may magsasagot naman tayo ng uh, antiderivatives or integration or basic integration uh, process given the first derivative. So yung una natin example, meron tayong uh, f prime of x is equal to 3x to the fourth. At kailangan natin kunin si f of x. So, para makuha natin yung antiderivative ng ating function, gagamitin natin yung rule sa pagkuha ng antiderivative, which is plus 1 sa exponent. So, if we have f, 3x to the fourth, f of x will be 3x, 4 plus 1. So, yan yung progression ng pagkuha ng antiderivative. Kung meron daw tayong x to the n, ang antiderivative niya would be x to the n plus 1 all over n plus 1 plus c. So, yan yung basic rule ng antiderivative. So, to simplify our answer, yung f of x natin will be 3x to the 5th all over 5 minus 5x to the 4th all over 4th. At since pwede natin masimplify si, I mean, wala na tayo pwede isimplify na fraction. So, ito na yung magiging answer natin dun sa ating unang derivative. Na yung sa second derivative naman, number 2, we have the integral of 3x squared minus 2 squared x. Na walang chain rule na pwede pa natin gamitin sa pagkuha ng antiderivatives. So, ang gagawin natin tulad ng ginawa natin before sa differentiation is imamodify natin yung function using algebra. So, yung 3x squared minus 2 squared pagka in-expand natin siya can be modified sa integral ng 9x to the 4th minus 12x squared plus 4dx. So, sa pagkuha ngayon ng derivative, pwede na natin gamitin yung ginawa nating method dun sa nauna. So, antiderivative niya would be 9x to the 4 plus 1. na pagka na-simplify natin will be 9x to the 5th all over 5 minus 12x cubed. At since pwede pa natin ma-modify c second term, pwede siya maging 4. So, our final answer ay pwedeng maging 9 over 5x to the 5th minus 4x cubed So yan yung pagkuha ng antiderivative ng problem number 2 Now yung problem number, problem number 3 yung y prime natin, kukunin natin yung y of course using antiderivative so given y prime is equal to 2x cubed plus 1 all over x squared. So, wala rin quotient rule sa antiderivative. So, gagamitin natin siya ng algebra para maging single line lang yung ating function. So, yung y prime, pwede natin siyang i-change into 2x to the third plus 1 multiplied by x to the negative 2. So, kapag dinistribute natin siya, yung y prime natin magiging 2x cubed times x to the negative 2 plus 1 times x. And by the law of exponent, adding the exponent 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. So we have 2x to the 1 plus 
x to the negative 2. So ito ngayon yung modified version ng ating y prime. So kung kukunin natin si y, which is yung antiderivative, using the law of expo, I mean yung law kanina, 2x, 1 plus 1, all over 1 plus 1, plus x to the negative 2 plus 1, plus c. So yung y natin is simply 2x um, squared, all over 2 um, plus x to the negative 1 all over negative 1 plus c. And if we need to further simplify this, cancel natin to, magiging x squared minus 1 over x plus c. At yan yung antiderivative ng problem number at yung problem number 4 naman, meron tayong integral of square root of x so just like what we did on number 3 i-modify natin siya using law of exponents so by distributing this here yung function natin magiging x to the 1 half times x to the 1 plus x to the 1 half times x to the 2 over 3. So, kapag na-modify natin siya, 1 half plus 1, pwede natin siyang gawing 2 over 2 para same denominator, plus x to the 1 half plus 2 over 3, so 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 times 2 is 4 all over 2 times 3 is 6. So, yung ating function ay magiging x raised to 3 over 2 plus x raised to 7 all over 6. So, ito ngayon yung modified version ng ating function. At ngayon, pwede natin ulit gamitin yung rule kanina. So, yung integral niya would be x um, 3 over 2 plus 1 all over 3 over 2 plus 2 all over 2 plus x raised to 7 over 6 plus 6 over 6 all over 7 over 6 plus 6 over 6 so yung ating antiderivative would be 3 plus 2 is 5 so 5 over 2 plus 7 over 6 is 13 all over 6 plus c. So ito ngayon yung ating antiderivative and if you want to further simplify this and change this into radical form, pwede natin siyang isulat as 2 over 5 square root of x to the fifth plus 6 over 13 uh, 6 root of x to the 13 plus c. So, ito yung other version niya. So, ito, pwede rin tong sagot na ito or pwede rin yung sa pangalawa. So, ito yung pagkuha ng antiderivative ng function using yung rule natin na n plus 1 all over n plus 1.